Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am doing another empties video. And if you did not recently see, see my recently uploaded um, low buy, no buy video, I will just give you a very brief rundown. I feel like I think I was trying to wait like three months between empties before. And I don't know if it's been a full three months since my last empties, but my whole basket is just overflowing because I have been going through so many products lately, trying to use up what I have so that I'm not purchasing before I actually finish things. So I explained the whole thing in that video. If you want, I'll link that down below so that you can watch it. But basically I had a ton of extra products because I was buying things to try new before I'd finish the old things and it was just all piling up. So now I have a game plan and I'm going through everything very methodically, I guess is the word that I'm looking for here. So welcome to my landfill and I'm just going to run through all of my basket. My entire house of cards is about to fall. <laughs> like I took one thing out and now everything is starting to fall. So let's get started on this. Um, I have first up a body wash, the Aveeno Skin Relief um, body wash. This is in coconut scented. I love this stuff. I've repurchased it multiple, multiple times. However, I'm not going to repurchase it right now because I have other body washes that I need to finish up, but I probably will go back to this one once I finish all of those. Um, I have a shampoo and conditioner. I just put the shampoo in here though, just to save space. This is the Pantene Nutrient Blends Illuminating Color Care with Biotin sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. Um, you know what? I liked this stuff. It smelled pleasant. I don't really know how good it was at caring for like my hair color, but uh, it was all right. I won't repurchase it though because I'm a hair junkie and I tend to try multiple things. So that one was good. Wouldn't repurchase though. Um, next up is this Gigantor bottle of Dove Winter Care Nourishing Body Wash. I got this at Sam's, I think. Took me a while to finish it. This was really, really nice. It definitely helped with like my itchy skin in the winter. Um, I don't know if they actually sell this though, like at the regular store, but um, I would be willing to try this once I finish my other body washes if they still have it. Um, Garnier fruit, there's so much dust because the stuff has just been sitting on the floor of my bathroom. It is in the air. So Garnier Fructis Full and Plush. This is, um, I believe, shampoo and conditioner I finished. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's purple, pink bottle. This smelled really kind of like an alcoholic mixed drink. Um, weirdly, though, it actually made my hair smell good afterward, like kind of fruity. But... Um, I mean, I guess it kind of made my hair fuller. I wouldn't say though that it was like insanely soft or anything afterwards. So I'm not gonna repurchase it just because I tend to try so many things. Um, same thing with this one. The Love Beauty and Planet Blooming Color Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, I don't know if I finished the shampoo yet. I know I finished the conditioner though, but this was nice. I used it for a long, long time and then just decided I wanted to try something new. And so I'm finally deciding to finish up the bottles that I had left over. I would recommend this. Um, it does make my hair feel really soft, but again, I like to try new things. Um, Garnier Fructis Strengthening Treat One Minute Hair Mask Banana Extract. This is the um, yellow one. It smelled really, really good, like like a banana a whole lot. But I don't really feel like it did anything for my hair other than like a regular conditioner. Like it didn't feel like deeply nourishing or anything. Um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. I have dust up my nose now. <laughs> I have went through like, I think it was three or four of these since my last empties. I go through them pretty quick because I use a lot of them. But I stock up on Amazon because they're super cheap on there. They come fast. And at my local store, like Walmart, these are almost always out of stock. So it's just easier to get them on there. But I already have a current one that I'm using. I'm almost out of that one. And then I have a backup. So I've already repurchased this. 
Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash. I finished up this. I thought it was a really nice cleanser, but I think it's like 30 or $45 or something. I'm definitely not going to repurchase it just because I don't feel like cleanser should ever be that expensive. Um, it was a gift with purchase at Ulta, so that's the only reason why I had it. Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask for All Hair Types. Um, honestly, this smelled like Avon um, silicone glove lotion from like the 90s. I don't know if they still make it, but it smelled exactly like that. It was not good. And it actually felt like putting lotion on my hair rather than a conditioner. So I really did not like this. Um, L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Brass Toning Purple Shampoo. Um, this I actually did like. I don't know how well it actually works compared to other purple shampoos. Because again, this is the kind of thing where I'll try multiple different ones. I feel like they all pretty much work exactly the same. Same with this. But my one thing is that this was so much easier to squeeze out versus every other purple shampoo that I've tried. Because those, like, I feel like you need the jaws of life to get any of it to come out of the bottle. I don't know what the deal with it is, but it's a very, like, hard to release formula. This one I did repurchase, so I have a fresh one in my shower right now. Um, I would recommend it. My hair color... Um, Schwarzkopf Color Ultime 9.5 Light Natural Blonde. Uh, that is not what my hair color is right now because I had a shipping snafu with this. So I used this before, really like it. It comes with the Color Ultime Blue Conditioning Treatment for Blonde Hair with Anti-Brass Result. I do like this and this. This is my like go-to um, hair color. However... Amazon sent me a used box of it like it was opened and stuff so I really really needed to color my hair like that day because it was looking really bad so I just grabbed like a backup that I had in my cabinet um, because I had a couple hair colors in there that I decided I didn't want to use but I was like let me keep them just in case bad idea I should have just waited because the one that I did use it's one that I've used before, but I feel like it started turning very brassy every time I would do my hair with it. And it just, I don't know, they changed the formula or something. But I used it and my hair came out like orangey. <laughs> so I am waiting a couple weeks to redo it with the Schwarzkopf. But this is the L'Oreal Superior Preference Le Blanc de Seams in LB02. Used to love it, but man, it makes my hair look bad now, so I would not repurchase that. Um, the L'Oreal Superior Preference Color and Shine Conditioner that comes with their hair colors, though, this is really nice. I wish that they would just sell it in, like, a big bottle, because I would definitely buy it. Ooh, so many things. Um, Colgate Optic White Renewal. I thought that this was pretty good, you know, but we tend to purchase um, toothpaste in, like, bulk of like three or five bottles or whatever it is at Sam's or Costco. So typically whatever whitening toothpaste they have there is what we buy. And this is not what we have right now. <laughs> I think we have like a Colgate one or something um, that's like charcoal. But I would repurchase that if I were to come across it there and we needed it. Um, L'Oreal L Vive Protein Recharge Almond and Protein Cream. Um, it's a leave-in conditioner. I didn't like this. I don't feel like it worked, like, for anything. Like, it didn't make my hair feel great or anything like that. So, kind of a dud. Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the green one. You will probably not be able to tell that, though, because of the green screen. Um, but this is the green one. I finished this, and then I ended up buying the pink one that is, like, for all skin types. And you know what? I actually don't like that one. I thought it was okay. I thought I was liking it. But I feel like now it really irritates my eyes for some reason. So once I finish that one, which I have like this much left in it, I'm going to repurchase the green one. Nivea Oil Infused Lotion Cherry Blossom. Oh, I loved this. Like loved it. It was so good. But I ran out of it. And I told my husband, can you get me some of this at the store? And he called and he's like, um, is it okay if I just get you like the Equate Lotion? And I was like, um, 
And he's like, well, because, you know, this one is like $3 for a big bottle. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like secretly hoping that he would just get me this one. But I, I know, like he just wanted to save a little bit of money because, you know, men, they don't really understand like a $6 bottle of lotion, so for, especially for it being this small because I went through this pretty quick because I got a lot of body. But I would repurchase this once I finished the lotion that he bought me. <laughs> Because I don't want to, I don't want to overbuy things, but that was some good stuff. Um, and that was Cherry Blossom also. I don't know if I said that. Elta MD AM Therapy. This has niacinamide in it, I think. Um, yeah, it does. So this was a really nice moisturizer. Um, I have another moisturizer that I'm using though, and I have several bottles of it. So I'm not going to repurchase this right now. But if I were to run out of the other one and decide that, you know, I needed a little something extra, maybe then I would go back to this one, but I'm liking the one that I'm currently using. So, you know, this is good if you're in the market for something though. Um, oh God, so many like dusties. Herbal Essences Argan Oil Repair Conditioner. And I think I'm almost done with the shampoo. Um, this really sucked. Like I did not like it at all. I don't feel like the conditioner worked that great, but I'm just trying to finish it up. Like it's not terrible, but I definitely would not recommend it at all. Um, Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures Repairing Mask. This took me a long time to use up. Um, normally something like this would last me like maybe maybe four times because I really like to soak my hair in it. But I just, I didn't find myself wanting to use it until I told myself you just got to use up everything because I just don't feel like it made any difference in my hair. So I, I wouldn't recommend that. Dove um, Dry Spray Go Fresh. This is the coconut one. Um, coconut, cucumber, cucumber. Um, I always just bought whatever scent they had at Sam's or Costco whenever we would go, but I've actually stopped using this deodorant altogether, even though I love it. Like, I, I love it. If you are in the market for a, like, spray, like, real deodorant, like, antiperspirant deodorant, I would go for this one. But we're trying out the Thai Crystal Spray Deodorant. I'm liking it. I don't particularly like that I still sweat. <laughs> But I'm going to use the whole bottle of the other one before I make my decision as to whether I'm going to keep using it or not. Um, oh, things are dropping on the floor now because the garbage can is empty or full. Swispers Premium Cotton Rounds. Um, I like the kind that has the little, like, quilted -y, you know, thing. Because there's a couple different Swispers kinds that they're all labeled the same, but they definitely look different. I liked the kind that like looks like a quilt on top versus the little like squiggly stamping on it. So these are my go-to. Use them every day. Thank you so much. Um, Aveeno Oat Mask with Pomegranate Seed Extract. Um, you know what? I actually liked this. I bought it in a set of two at Sam's Club because it came with this one and then like a pumpkin one. Smells pretty good. Um, I did think that it made my skin look pretty nice. It was kind of glowy. Like I think that that's what the, the treatment was that it made your skin glowy. I felt like it worked pretty good. I would definitely repurchase this once I finish all my other masks. Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I just had like a little one. I don't feel like this did a whole heck of a lot of anything. So I wouldn't recommend it because it is pricey. Um, Carmex Daily Care Lip Balm in Strawberry. This is my favorite, but I have 8 million other lip balms that I need to use up, so I'm not repurchasing that one. Um, Formula 10.0.6 B Berry Radiant Resurfacing AHA Mask. I thought that this was a pretty darn good drugstore AHA mask. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this once I'm in the market for more masks. And um, it lasted a heck of a long time, too. And I really, like, glopped it on. So even for it to be less than two ounces, like, it lasted a long time. So I would recommend this. That just dropped on the floor. <laughs> um, Differin Gel. This is the um, half an ounce kind. I finished this up and I repurchased the big tube that I think is, like, 
three times the size of this. It's like a, an ounce and a half or two ounces, something like that. So I did repurchase this. Um, Garnier Fructis Damage Repairing Treat One Minute Hair Mask in Papaya Extract. Don't feel like this did anything. So, you know, that kind of sucked. I feel like the Garnier products are a little bit hit and miss. Um, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. This is a mascara that I do tend to like. Um, it just kind of dried out though and it was time to say that it was done. But um, I'm not repurchasing mascaras until I finish what I have. So not going to repurchase any of these next few items. Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. This stuff sucked, hated it, would never repurchase that again in a million years. Um, CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, one of my faves. I love this stuff, but I got to wait until I finish everything else so that I can repurchase it. But this was a dang good mascara. Um, Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume. I really like this stuff. It's good. I would recommend it. Can't repurchase it until I finish stuff though, but that would be on my list to repurchase. And then last but certainly not least... Possibly the grossest, though, is this Dermora Foot Peel Mask for Baby Soft Feet. This has green on it, so I don't know how much you'll actually see of that. But that's what the packaging looks like. And this is kind of like a baby feet competitor. It came with, it come with, it came with two foot masks, though. And I originally purchased it because I was like, oh, me and my husband, we can do it like together <laughs> and peel each other's feet together. And he took one look at it and said, absolutely not. So I ended up doing both of them myself. And I got it on Amazon for a two pack. It was like under 20 bucks. And I think Babyfoot was like $25 for one. So really good deal. Um, let me just say my feet were bad. Like bad. <laughs> because the whole like last half of my pregnancy, I just completely stopped doing anything to my feet and they suffered for it. So whenever I tried this, it definitely worked for what it was supposed to do, but my feet were so bad that I definitely needed the second usage of it. So after everything stopped peeling, I used it a second time and that took my feet to like, okay, now everything looks normal. So if you have really, really, really bad feet, you'll need the two times. If you have just normal bad feet, <laughs> then you can do the one time and maybe save the other one or use it for a friend or whatever it is. But that I would recommend that. And I would repurchase that also because I feel like just for maintenance sake, I'd probably repurchase this and do it like maybe every three months just to kind of keep everything fresh down there. So that was a lot. That's all of my empties thus far. I'm sure that this little basket, because this is the size of it, and it was like you saw in the thumbnail, like mounded up over here. So what I'm going to do is once I get this like full each time, I'll just do an empties at that point rather than waiting on a specific timeline. Um, and hopefully there's less dust next time around. But there you go. That is it. Leave any comments or questions down below. I will try to link everything that I would recommend or that I would repurchase in the description box so that you have links to like the good stuff. And I hope that you will click that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.